Hello, good day. Okay, my name is Clinton. I'm here with my daughter Callista, and we're going to be talking about polishing uh, your boots or your shoes uh, for, you know, cadets or parades or military, anything like that. Um, so anyway, we have my daughter's boots here. We've already started them, but I'm going to show you how to do a base coat and final coats and uh, what you're looking for. So uh, anyway, first of all, um, that's why we're doing it. And uh, we want to get nice shiny boots, right? Yeah. Uh, so you can do this with dress shoes or boots. And uh, so we'll talk about what you need. And first, the boots. So uh, if you see these, these shoes have a kind of, uh, I don't know what kind of leather it is, but uh, it's like a genuine leather and it's not like a really porous leather. So it doesn't have all the cracks and grains because you're going to want to fill all those in to get a good shine. Um, so with this, it's a nice flat leather and it's not a, um, I don't want to call it like a plastic finish on it because then the polish won't, uh, won't stick. So it's a, a good quality leather. Uh, next, what you want to polish is you're going to want, I don't work for Kiwi. I should say that in advance, but it works well. So you want to get a Kiwi cloth and you want to get Kiwi polish. So they work best together. You can try off-brand stuff, but uh, for the price difference, I would do Kiwi. So in the Kiwi cloth, there are some uh, some oils in it. Uh, you can't feel it, but anyway, when you're when you're working in that polish, it activates that those oils and helps you uh, work it into your shoes. Um, same thing with the Kiwi polish. It's just a good quality polish, and uh, it's not going to crack off on you. You can also get um, applicators with like a liquid polish i highly recommend not using those uh, because they will crack and break off and they will not leave they might look really nice when you first put them on but uh, if you're going to be uh, you know marching or doing parades uh, you don't want that stuff it's not not nearly as good so next we're going to show you how to open the can uh, because you know my daughter was twisting and twisting and uh anyway there's a little trick here. So this is a key and all you do, you turn it and it pops the lid. Nice and easy. All right, so our polish is a little bit cracked and that's fine. Uh, it still works well. If you want to prevent cracking, you can throw a penny in there. Uh, the copper will uh, prevent the, the cracking. Um, so before, I wouldn't use those ones. That one's uh, an old one. So before we would put water in here and you can just uh, use that to, to dip your cloth. Um, but this time I got some water here. So you wanna use cold water. I don't know why, ask your science teacher if you wanna know why you use cold water, but uh, it helps to activate it. And when you work it in uh, into the leather, um, then it, it just works better. Um, okay, next. So we got the polish open. We have some water ready to go, some cold water. And this is my Kiwi cloth. I've uh, polished a couple thousand times. So what you want to do, we'll give that to Calista, and what we want to do is try to find a clean spot that we haven't used before, and you're going to stick your index finger, whatever hand you want to use, pull it tight so there's no wrinkles on the on the uh, cloth, and you want to give it a twist or two, and then I like to grab it like that. So you have it in one hand, nice and tight, no wrinkles, and it's a fairly clean spot that hasn't been used before. All right. You ready there, Calista? Yeah. Perfect. So we have a nice clean surface and uh, we're ready to go. So what we want to do is, well, we'll talk about the, the couple of things we would do. Uh, so the first is when you first get your shoes or boots, you want to do a base coat. So it's a little bit of a thicker layer of, uh, of polish and you want to work it in and then you want to let it sit for at least 24 hours. And then after that, you can start doing your, your extra coats. And uh, the question, how many coats should you do? Of the base coat? Well, the base coat's one coat, right? What, yeah. what about the other coats? How many should you do? As much as you can. As Just much as you can. So 100 is fine, 1,000 is fine. You're never done. You're never done. You can keep going until you as shiny as you want. So what we're going to do is you dip a little bit. You don't want to soak it too much, but enough that there's a bit of water. And then with the polish, you don't want to scoop it out. You want to just give it a little rub. So with the base coat, that's good for a, that's even a little bit much for a regular coat. For a base coat, you'd want something along that line or a little bit more. So it's not a ton. You're not scooping it out like uh, 
like ice cream or anything like that. So typically you want to go in the same direction. You do little circles. Um, and so you can polish your whole shoe. Uh, but what you want to focus on is the toe. That's where most people look. Um, so you can see we've already polished this. And right along here, there's going to be cracking. As you walk, it's going to, it's going to flex. So you're never going to get that clean, but you can still polish over top and you're going to get all those slots in between. So with the base coat, we're going to start down low and you go around and you work it in. So we've already done a base coat on this, so I don't really need to put this much polish on it, but I'm going to do it anyway. So you start with kind of bigger circles and then you work into smaller circles and that'll get rid of all those clouds. How's yours looking, Clista? Good. Okay, so she used less polish because she's not doing a base coat. So do you want to show them yours real quick? In, so oh, you haven't worked yeah. in yet. Okay. It's not quite worked in yet, but coming along. And you can always add more water if you're having trouble working it in, and you can add more polish. So you just keep adding it, and then once you have a good base coat, you let it sit. It's preferably if you let it sit in a cold area or a cool area for 24 hours, and then you can come back and polish some more. Okay, so that's my base coat. I would leave that and let it sit for 24 hours. And then once that's up, or you know, the longer, well, I shouldn't say the longer, the better. If you can leave it 48 hours, so two days, come back and then start polishing it. So for the next coat, regular uh, coats, I'm going to try to find another new spot. For the next like 10,000 coats. Next 10,000 coats, yeah. So a little dip with some water, a little bit of polish. So this is a lot less polish. And now, and you can always add more. So it's better to start, start off with less and add more. So like, like I said, you like to go in the same direction. So if you see, I go counterclockwise and I'm doing little circles. If you're left-handed, you're probably more likely to do clockwise and uh, do your little circles. You do counterclockwise. I do. I do clockwise and I'm right-handed. <laughs> there you go. So everybody does their own thing. But uh, that's why it's kind of nice um, that if you do your boots, you don't really let other people do your boots because they might go a different direction. It won't ruin your boots but uh, you may notice a little bit of a, a different shine. So something I should talk about is how much pressure you should put on. So when I'm pushing, it's just a light pressure. So you can't really see my skin changing color with the amount of pressure. I'm going around and around. If you start pressing and it's like that kind of pressure, that's way too much. So kind of like you're doing a gentle back rub kind of thing. So you're just over top and giving a little bit. You can see my skin isn't changing much color with the amount of pressure. All right, I'll do another quick coat. And if you find droplets of water, like there's a little on mine, you don't want to end like that, but that's okay. You just add more polish and you don't need any more water. If you can hear his breathing, it is a little bit uh, vigorous work. So I always like to throw on a movie or a show and uh, sit down and do this and you can do you know 10 coats or something and uh, you kind of lose track of time and focus on it and then you end up with a pretty good product in the end you can kind of see your reflection yeah all right so oh, there's a little cloud there we'll go a little more okay so you can kind of see mine now so it's looking pretty decent uh, there's a technique I like to do to kind of finalize it and kind of get it that last little bit of shine. Um, I don't really know the name for it, but I call it kind of huffing. So, you know, when you blow on a window to, so you can write on it in the cold, you're kind of doing that. So you're getting close, you're breathing from the back of your throat. But you don't write on it. No, you don't write on it. And you huff. And you'll see it gets all cloudy there. That's the moisture from my gut. And then you use that. So it's a little bit of heat from your breath and a little bit of moisture. And then you just do your circles some more. And you'll already see it's getting a little shinier. So I'll do another huff. You took my explanation. Sorry. It's 
okay. It's used everywhere, probably. There you go. So, and that's, I did two coats there and a quick base coat and a couple of <sighs> Like I said, you can do thousands of coats. There's really no end to it. The more you do, it's gonna get shinier and shinier. And uh, so, yeah, there's no no limit. So throw in a movie, throw in a show, uh, and, and keep on going and, and do as many coats as you need. You, you can wanna... never use the excuse, I'm done, because you're never done. <laughs> do you wanna show yours? <sighs> Just that. So to give you an idea, I taught Clista how to do this uh, about three weeks ago. And uh, she hasn't touched her boots much since then. And uh, she did a little bit yesterday, but she's already got the hang of it and she's doing quite well. So it, it doesn't take an expert or anything. You just have to follow these easy steps. What we'll do is we'll, we'll uh, tag all the, um, the steps as we go in the, uh, in the video. And if you guys have any questions in or the comments, description. In the description, yes. Thank it's you. It's not called tagging. It's just like <laughs> bookmarking it. Oh my goodness. Apparently I'm old. Did you want to show? You just put some more polish on? Yeah, I'll show. So if you see Clista, she likes to put it on the desk and then work around the shoe. I like to move the shoe and work around the shoe that way way too much water on it that's like a yeah so if you get a lot of water just don't end like that put more polish and once you get your toe exactly how you want it you can always do up your sides um up to the laces here the inside and uh really there's no limit everywhere there's leather you can polish it um wherever there's flex it is gonna crack out there um but that's fine as well you want to show yours and then we'll end the video? Just like there's water droplets. <laughs> this is a good thing for your focus and practice and um, really focusing on something. So. If, if you have too much water, you can always switch spots on the cloth as well because you might have had too much water in there and then you can start with a new spot. You can switch spots on your cloth as much as you want. I like to try to get a, a good spot at the beginning and then for that whole kind of shoe shining session, I'll try to use that same spot or I might switch once halfway in between. The other really good thing to remember is that your arm does get tired. So. Instead of doing like a hundred coats on this one and then being like, I'm gonna try my right shoe now. And then you get like five coats in and your arm's tired. And now you got one that's like a mirror and one that's kind of looks like you walk through a swamp with, then uh, they're not gonna be equal. So maybe do five on one then five on the other and you go back and forth. And that way they kind of keep up with each other. And if you get clouds in your boots, it's kind of what Calista's facing right now. You can always just add a little bit more polish or you can just try doing tighter circles, a little bit lighter, and those clouds should go away. I'm rushing to show. You're rushing, yeah. okay. Why don't you show them what you have so far and then we'll, we'll finish it up. We're shinier there. before, it's, yeah. All right, Calista's gonna hold, yeah. it, hold it up. Yeah, it's not so. super shiny. <laughs> it's okay, you're doing a great job. Yeah, so that's a good more. start. And uh, so you can see there's a little bit of scratches and that's just from pressing a little harder. So yeah. you go a little bit lighter and you do your tight circles and those scratches will go away. All right. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you very much.